this film um, delves into a very personal aspect of your life. Although the subject itself is not very new, like you said before, um, your films have always been full of broken relationships, failed marriages, and lost children. We saw it even in Sugarland Express and Close Encounters and E.T. and so on. So the question is, did you use those pieces of your own life in your films because it made for great drama and storytelling, or was it because it was some sort of self-therapy that helped you process those events in, from your own life? I never think about that as therapy, um, but when something rings a bell, you know, often the subconscious bell that's being rung are traumatic things that have happened to all of us when we're young people and get a chance to express that trauma through painting or through music or through design or through filmmaking or through writing books or short stories. I mean, all of that comes out in the wash, even if you don't intend it to. And, and I, obviously, as a child, was very traumatized by the breakup of my family. And I'd be attracted to subjects like an empire of the sun of a boy. A war separates a boy from his parents. He spends the entire time in a Japanese internment camp in China. Um, I'm sure I, had my parents not gotten a divorce, I would not have chosen Empire of the Sun as a film to direct. So I think all of that is part of the gestalt that, gets, uh, that motivates all of us to make those key decisions about commitment. What do we commit to? And, and, and because when I commit to a movie, I'm committing to something, in a sense, for the rest of my life.